unified. We're supposed to be one body. We're supposed to be a single unit. That's what my father read in the book of Philippians about the single, same single mindedness. One mind. One mind. One mind alike. That's what the Bible says, and I can't get into that because that was way too much. I got to go back and get the base, the, the, the foundation. But the single mindedness is when we have the single mindedness, then deception can't come in. So back to the song. When we singing, head in the clouds, boots to the ground, what that means is, that means your head can only be in the clouds through prayer. That means that you have to constantly be praying. See, the scriptures say pray without ceasing. Now that's so much, that's, that's so much that our carnal mind can't even take that. Never ceasing means never stopping. So as believers, as Christians, we are supposed to be praying non-stop. See, if you have a non-stop prayer life, then guess what? You give no room for the enemy to come in. See, if you're constantly praying, then that means you constantly are not entertaining thoughts in your own head. Right. Come on. See, there's so much blame on the devil, but he don't have nothing to do with it. Right. He already did it when you was born, at the, in the garden. Right. Wow. And that's what my dad talked about, right. the garden. Right. And I'm going to get into it in my notes. This is all part of my notes. Right. See, when people ask me what I got from the men's meeting, I say, you'll find out tomorrow. If you come on Sunday, you'll find out what I got from the men's meeting. Everything I'm talking about came out of the men's meeting. Then it came from Thursday. And then it came from last Sunday. See, the spirit, when he says ride the wave, it's ride the wave of the spirit. Ride the wave of the spirit that is constantly flowing. He never stops flowing. See, what we have to do is we got to get out of the habit of jumping in and out of the way. That's the mentality. I'll jump in the wave halfway on Sunday. And then Monday through Saturday, you on the sand. Think about it. That's the mentality. I'll ride the wave when I show up to church. But the deception is, is even when you hear, you still not riding the wave. Because your mentality is desert minded. It's on the sand. It's in the sand. You're drinking sand, eating sand, sleeping in sand. And the whole ocean is right there. And all you have to do is go in. But see, you cannot enter in without prayer. Okay, so we got to understand. So listen, so that's head in the clouds. Boost to the ground means you are standing. Meaning you are standing. You are standing in your post. You are standing where God moved you divinely to be. You are standing against the enemy. You are standing when the world comes with their foolishness. You're not swayed. Your boots laced up, strapped up means I'm ready for war every day. And I'm not ready for war in the flesh. I'm ready for war in the spirit because my head is in the clouds from praying and reading my word. See, we have to go over these foundational things. Doesn't matter how many times we say them, as I said, listen, everybody, everybody needs to get the CD from Thursday night when my father laid out and listen to it the rest of your life. No, that's not a hee hee, laugh, yeah, okay. No, no, no. You need to get the CD from Thursday night and listen to it for the rest of your life. Because what he broke down for his Christianity and your walk, 
You can't get all of that in six months. Right. Right. Come on. I'm going to say that again. Amen. What he brought out Thursday night, what the Spirit of God brought out Thursday night, if you listen to it for the next six months, seven days a week, there are still things you have not got. Right. Right. So if you ever struggling in your soul, you struggling in your mind, you need to put that CD in and listen. Right, right. It will help you. Right, See, right. what happens is, is we think that these words, this revelation that is coming every week, you think because it's come out today that you got it. Right. Now, when I was breaking it down to Ricky yesterday, I said, because what happened was, is after the meeting, and this is what happens, those that want to be close to us, want to be in our house, want to always talk to us, always talk to us, always talk to us. As soon as you ask them, what you get out of the service? Right, right. Frozen. Ricky said, I got to go to my notes. Which is okay, Ricky just got here. Right. But there are people that have been here for years. Right. And it's the same response. Right. Something is wrong with that. Right. So what I was explaining to Ricky is, is, you see how it works, Ricky? As soon as you leave out of here, your mind automatically, you're going to get your hair cut. You're going to do this. You're already on your phone texting other people. You have already forgotten everything the Spirit gave you to help you change your life yeah. and change your mind. Yeah. I said, when you leave, I said, see how it's supposed to work is when you leave here, wherever you go, you should be rehearsing what the Spirit just gave. For example, when you leave out of here, you should be going and communing and fellowshipping and rehearsing Amen. what came out in the service today. But 99% of the church is not doing that. When you lead, you are automatically locked into zombie land. So as soon as you start talking, as soon as you start uh, uh, joining yourself, you've already lost what happened in everything in the service. That's how it works. So that shows you how unrenewed the minds are in the house. And this is not a strike. This is a measuring rod. See, what happens is, is I know how it works. That's why when my father asked me, I can run it down, what I got. And then the more I talk about it, the more it comes out. The more I rehearse it, the more the spirit brings. That's how you sharpen your spirit. You want to know how to sharpen your sword? That's how you sharpen your sword. You constantly rehearsing what happened, what the Spirit of God gave live on sight. And then guess what? When you get the CDs, that means you're constantly washing and rinsing your mind. You constantly, but listen, here's, we're going to get into it, but see, guess what? The reason why 99% of the things that the Spirit drops in the service you cannot retain because the Word inside of you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Okay, let me break that down. Meaning, you can only obtain spiritually as much of the Word that's inside of you. Right. Okay. Wow. Right. Yeah. Meaning, so however much of the Word of wow. God is in your heart right. that you know surety of. Wow. Not what someone else told you, right. not what we read to you last week, right. but what you know right. yourself yeah. scripturally. However much of that is inside of you yeah. is, is how much you are getting at every service. Right. Right. So that's a self-checking mechanism. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, you know how much you read the word. Right. And see, it's not just reading the word. Because you cannot understand the word without a constant prayer life. See, these go together. Word and prayer go together. You cannot understand the word without prayer, and you cannot pray without knowing the word. But these are not these are these are fundamental things that Christians do not know. They have ideas. They have their personal opinions. Right. They have their thinking of how it's supposed to be. 
or how they think it is and their relationship with God, but they've never read to understand what it is to have a relationship and commune and walk with God. So that means when God speaks, you cannot recognize when it's him 100% surety without knowing your word. Right. Because when he speaks, he confirms. Right. Every time God speaks, he confirms. Right. Amen. Yet again, while the Holy Spirit is giving you your instruction, I'm seeing looking around, talking, you don't even understand. The things that he's giving you for your life right now, you are so easily distracted. And I'm going to keep saying it. And another thing that we have to bring back, the Spirit showed me is, is, and used to say this all the time, but we've gotten relaxed, is it stop walking across the altar. Right. If you want to come to my dad or if you want to get to this side of the church, go around. Amen. You don't walk in front of the altar. That's not how you do things. If you got to go on this side, you come down this side and you go over here. If you need to get back over here, go up, around, and come back down. That's called reverence. That's called honor. That's called respect. We have to bring that back in the house of God. That's why we are not popular. We're not here for a popularity contest. We're not here to get people to like us. I've said that before and I'm going to keep saying it. Okay. To understand any of these things, you have to renew your mind. Okay. Now to the notes. It is impossible, as my father started off saying, it is impossible to make your mind up on stopping or starting something without ruin, renewing your mind. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to say that again. Right. See, what happens is people will say, I want to start doing this, or I'm tired of this and I want to stop. Right. But not understanding yeah. the habit of sin, practicing That's sin. It. Uh -huh. The habit of it that has been formed inside of you, right. that habit has to be broken. Right. Even though your heart cries out and you really in your heart want to stop. Wow. You really in your heart want to stop or you really in your heart want to start. Wow. But the habit of, the habit of uh, not having clarity when the Holy Spirit is giving you instruction how to start or how to stop, that gets in the way. So what we do is, is the teaching helps you to remove these things yes. so that it can be a clear yes. path yes. between you and him. Yes. So in order to start or stop or make your mind up, and when you make your mind up, you can't change it. Right. There's so many times people text me one thing and then let... Not even two lines down later, they text in the exact opposite. Right. The exact opposite. Then when you tell them, you double-minded. Right. They get upset. Right. 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 Not realizing that when you're talking to somebody who's single-minded, as soon as I hear that, I'm going to address it. Right. Right. And if you don't want to hear that, then don't text me. Right. Don't talk to me. Right. That's just how it works. See, we have it to where we don't understand when you communicate with a man of God or, or someone who's been appointed by God, which is the same thing, that there's a certain way you communicate. Then you hear, well, I'm sorry and I repent for not communicating how you like to communicate. No, 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 no. It's, you should be sorry and asking forgiveness that you don't have enough spirit inside of you to know how to communicate. Because when I'm telling you something spiritual and you respond back with something natural, that's automatically going to be conflict. That's automatically going to be like, I got to stop talking to you because you want to bring me into the soul realm. See, what happens is you're communing with so many people that's double-minded that you don't even know. You're so much in communication with zombie land that you don't understand everybody's not there. So when you talk to single-minded people, and there's not very many of them, but when you talk to single-minded people, you have to, first of all, if you can't understand, ask the Lord to help you to understand. Amen. Right. 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 
Right. Yes. Yeah, right. That's when we, we don't we fail. Right. If you don't understand, ask the Holy Spirit to help you yeah. understand. Yeah. Then when He starts showing you the things that you need to adjust, yeah. be quiet right. and adjust them. Yeah. And listen, it doesn't take no it doesn't take no long time. Or I'm learning. No, and an adjustment can be made in a matter of like that. Yeah. Right. When you decide. You know what? I'm, I may have been thinking wrong, but I'm going to receive that yeah. and make that change. Right. Amen. Amen. Okay, you cannot change your direction without renewing your mind. Okay. Changing your thinking, you cannot do any of this without prayer, which we said before. It's so hard for you to change because you do not want to pray. When it's hard, when you say how hard it is to change, it's because you do not want to pray. That's right. That's right. The natural mind does not want to pray. Right. The carnal mind does not want to pray. Right. And your carnality will take you to hell. Right. So the more you don't want to pray, the more you are saying, I want hell in my life and to manifest in my life and manifest through me because without prayer you cannot stop hell inside of you the carnal mind is against God so guess what anything that is against God is linked to hell you don't think of it like that right so the carnal mind is against God so that means the carnal mind is influenced by hell and by you not wanting to pray means you're saying yes, yes, yes more to him. You have to enter into the gates with thanksgiving. You notice I was looking around how when Deacon Frites was saying thank you Jesus, thank you. There's people that couldn't even say thank you Jesus. And not new members. Right, there you go. There's people that cannot even say out of their mouth Thank you, Jesus. If you can't say thank you, Jesus, you have some serious issues. Serious issues to where you can't even say thank you, Jesus. But you at church. We didn't ask you to come up here and give a message. He didn't say everybody come line up and you all got five minutes to give us a word. I can see you frozen off that. But just saying, thank you, Jesus. That lets you know where you are at with your walk. If you cannot say, thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to wake up. Thank you, Jesus, that my kids are safe. Thank you, Jesus, that we don't have to evacuate because of a hurricane trying to tear our, st our county apart, our state apart. If you can't say, thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to breathe. Something is wrong. Guess what that means? That means you have a mass amount of hell inside your mind. Because listen, the hell inside your mind limits you from speaking. Let's say that again. The mass amount of hell in your mind limits you from being able to speak. Especially when it comes to spiritual things. See, you can't be filled with the Holy Spirit and not speak. That just don't go together. If you feel with the Holy Spirit, He is shouting through you all the time. He's shouting through you all the time. And if it's not a loud, clear voice, there's some major adjustments you need to make. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. yeah, this is good. Yeah. You have to make sure. <laughs> you have to make sure you make yourself pray. Prayer. What is prayer? Prayer is saying, "I need God." We talk about two P's. Prayer and pride. Prayer says, I need God. Pride 
David says, I can do it myself. See, so if you have not come to the place to where you understand you cannot see the world's way is, is I can do it myself. I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody's help. I can do it all on my own. That's the world's thinking and that's the world's teaching. That's what they teach you. You don't need nobody. Don't trust nobody. You can't trust nobody. That's what the world is. Yeah. Right. Well, the kingdom is opposite. Yeah. Right. The kingdom is opposite. Yeah. I can't do it without God. Yeah. I cannot do it myself. Yeah. Think about it. I cannot do it myself. Yeah. I cannot do it myself. Yeah. And here's the other one that you don't want to hear. We can't do it without each other. I'm going to come to church, but I'm not going to talk to this one. I'm not going to talk to that one. I'm not going to talk to this one. I'm not going to talk to that one. I'm not going to. Oh, no. Hell no. I'm not talking to this one. So, but I'm in church. Thank you, Lord. That's no, no. That we laughing, but this mentality is in here like that. This mentality is in here like that. I'm going to love you from a distance. You know how ignorant that sounds? As soon as I hear that, I say, this is just pure D ignorance. You can't love someone from a distance. When you distance, that's not what if Jesus tells you, I'm going to love you from a distance. Guess what that means? The separation between you and him, he's going to love you when you're in hell. That's what he's telling you. I'm going to love you from a distance, so I'll still be loving you in hell. There's no such thing. If Jesus did, think about that. See, the problem is we don't know what Jesus did. We don't know what Jesus said. We don't know what he did. We don't know his lifestyle. But I'm a Christian. How do you expect to do it by yourself? <laughs> this, is, this is real genius, but just so simple. How do you expect to do it by yourself when you didn't get here by yourself? Nobody in here got here by themselves. Did you just wake up out of the dirt? Or you must have been birthed like Adam. God just created you from the dust. And you just appeared and you was here. No, nobody got here by themselves. So why is it that we allow deception to think, make us believe we can do it by ourselves? See, back to the song. When Christina singing, when she said, harden not your hearts, yeah. Do not let deception in. Yeah. See what happens is, is everybody that's open that comes to this place, they right up the best. Can, Miss Teresa, that happened. Well, I've seen that from the time I was born, which you just got up here saying. Yeah. Miracles all day long. Yeah. But then yet you can see after a few years, the same person that got bigger miracles than what you got. Yeah. More major. Yeah. God is no longer with us and they're leaving. Yeah. Wow. Or they say how we hurt them yeah. and we destroyed them. Yeah. How does that work? Yes. Wow. How is it that you can get miracles that you know that you would not happen without God? Yeah. Would not happen without this ministry. Yeah. But yet, just a few years later or a few months, whatever, yeah. the, whatever the timing is that they allow deception in, yeah. Yeah. then they're saying God's no longer with them. Or I don't feel the love of God. Or Bishop and Gabriel, or Gabriel or Bishop, whatever it is, either one of us two is the reason why they bounce till they say. But see, listen, you don't understand. It's, it's, it ain't us that's causing you to bounce. It's the spirit causing the demons inside of you to bounce. That's what happens. When you come here, I've had a, I've had a God tell me, he told me, I asked him, he disappeared. And I asked him, I said, when I ran into him, he was like, what's up, Big Grizz? I said, where you been at? Right. He said, man, I, I just gotta tell you, he was yep. like, I'm gonna be real. He said, it's too hot at Genesis. <laughs> he said it, he just said it. He said, it's too hot at Genesis. Yeah. He said, I met a girl, and he said, I wanna, you know, I wanna you know, be able to live in sin, or promote sin, or commit sin, whatever. Uh, please my flesh. That's what he said. He wanted to please his flesh. So he's going to another church. I'm not going to say the name of the church. But he's going to another church. And he said, 
over there I can do it. Right. I can still please my flesh and go to church. So it's a win-win. Yeah. He said, I cannot go to Genesis and do that. He said, he said. And he was only coming for about six months. He said out of his mouth, he said, you have to change yep. at Genesis or you can't stay. And he's gone. So what is he saying in that? I didn't want to change. So listen, if you bounce, it's not a mystery to us. And it's sad, we'll pray for you, but we got to keep pushing. We got to keep riding the wave. See, listen, what, 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 what are we getting to? Allowing deception in. How does deception come in? Deception comes in to when you listening, when you listening, when you open to those who are allowing demons to move and maneuver through them, and you listen, you know, Gabriel's sin is this. Bishop's sin 20 years ago was this. You didn't know that, did you, huh? Yeah, as soon as you listen to that, you've just gave an open ear to deception. So that's how you can get all these miracles and still bounce. Because you did not heed, what, is, what does the song say? Heed the words of the Spirit. Heed the words of the Spirit. Harden not your heart. When you hear these things and you allow them to be spoken, you have allowed Satan to come in and harden your heart. Then deception, they're coming together. Right. So the hardening of the heart, the deception that make you feel that everything is okay. I'm rounding it up, Dad. I'm going to read out of James and end it. Right. Allowing deception to come in. See, when it comes to the things of God, when it comes to the principles of God, I can talk all day. Because that's what's inside of me. That's what's inside of me. You can't talk about something that you don't know. I know immediately when someone's talking whether they know what they're talking about or not. Yeah. That's just come from people who have walking with the Spirit. As soon as someone starts talking, I know this person doesn't know what they're talking about, or this is all out their head, or they're making it up, or it's lies. Whatever it is, I know. So your spirit inside of you should know if this is flesh or if this was spirit. Because first of all, you can't get up here with no spirit. If you get up here in your mind and in your flesh, you can't talk. And you will get adjusted. See, what happens is now is, listen, listen, there's people that come back and look and go and come. Listen, we we not the same. We're the same ministry, but we got another level of anointing. The things that used to go on, they don't go on no more. And if you try to do them, oh, you're gonna be you're gonna be adjusted. You're gonna be corrected. And then you can either repent or bounce. It's just that simple. Because guess what? It's the same for all of us. If I'm told I need to repent, I'm gonna repent. Any man in here told that he needs to repent, they gonna repent or they gonna bounce. Any woman that told you need to repent, you can repent or bounce. It's very simple. Because if not, then you water down. You block the level of God that we need, that we are demanding. So that means, guess what? We all got the same standard Amen. that we are held to Amen. from up here to down there. Amen. And if you don't like that, you can get on down to another tank. Amen. Because it's not about the numbers. Right. It's Amen. about the unity. Amen. That's why, listen, we are the Gideon Church. We are the Gideon Church. We are stronger now, and my father keeps saying, he said this yesterday, yeah. we are stronger now than we have ever been. Yeah. And we have the fewest numbers now than we have ever had. Yeah. Think about that. 
Naturally, that don't make sense. But spiritually, that makes all the sense. Because God needs unity to change the world. That's what he needs. He needs unity in his house so that he can make changes out there. The changes in the church have to come first before the changes in the world. Okay, I'm going I'm to read. My, my dad took us to 1 James. First James, um, I mean James uh, chapter 1. And there's so much in James. I can start anywhere. But verse 2, it says, My brother, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work. Oh, I want to be like you, Bishop. I want to be the, I want to be the, I want to be, listen. If you ain't went through no trials, if you haven't developed no patience, then you don't have no great amount of the Spirit. Let me say that again. You cannot, in, in order to be at a place to where you can move mountains, guess what? You can't move no mountains if you ain't jumped over no anthills. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. You can't move mountains if you haven't already been faced with mountains right. to right. learn how to move them. Right, right, yeah, right. Come on. It says you're testing of your faith. It says be happy when you get a trial that tests your faith. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. wow. Count it as joy yeah. when you get a mountain that you gotta overcome. Wow. Because that mountain each mountain that you get is an opportunity for God to demonstrate that you cannot do this without me. It's his time to show you. He don't need to show himself. He needs to show you. You need to know. He already know what he's done and what he said. It's not a mystery. But he wants you to learn. Right. Every time you think you're going to go down, all you got to do is believe, yeah. and I'll show you. Yeah. With me, you can't go down. Yeah. But let patience have its perfect work. Yeah. See, that means those that every, I want it now. I got to move now. I need God. God need to move now. I want it now. I want it now. That means that you have no clue what this is. Right. Without patience, how are you going to learn how to listen to God? Right. How are you going to learn the timing right. of him? His timing is not ours. Right. Listen, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. Right. Yeah. See, you gain wisdom every time you we come up here. Right. If you are open. Right. If you are following the manual. Right. If you are able to receive wisdom. See, you have the opportunity to receive wisdom every time we gather. Right. But if you're leaving with not gaining wisdom, right. you need to get in the mirror, which we're going to jump to yeah. Yeah. verse 22. That's it. That's it. it says, but be doers of the word right. and not hearers only. Right. But listen, listen, wait. If you are not a doer of the word right. and you are a hearer only, guess what comes next? Next. You're deceiving yourself. See, I had to hit this. You are deceiving or diluting or disillusional yourself. You notice how that goes together, right? But be doers, meaning what you receive, if you do not take it in and act it out, and you just come every week, you cannot help but let deception in. When you are a hearer, you only hear bits and pieces. Right. So you cannot do if you do not hear. Right. And if you do not do and hear, then you automatically receive deception. Right. Do you see that? Yeah. Deceiving yourself. Right. So you need no help. It doesn't say Satan's going to send all the demons over to deceive you. It says if you do not do these things, Doers of the word. Right. If you don't know the word, you can't do the word. Right. Right. If you don't know the word, you cannot hear the word. Right. So that all, all that equal 
fools you are deceived. Right, right. 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 Yes, yeah, that's it. For if anyone, listen, we're going to end with this. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. Right, right, right. Wow. wow. Notice that. A natural man observing his natural face in the mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. So let's break that down. Every time you come to church and you leave out of here not acting on the wisdom that you gained, right. not moving in the words that you heard, right. not doing the word, not doing the principles, yeah. you are automatically open and are ready to see. Yeah. So when you talk, deception comes out. Right. 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 That's it. So when you do decide to do it, deception comes out, confusion comes out, right. because that's what you have allowed in. Yeah. Right. So what you have to do is you have to repent. Yeah. Right. You have to repent. Yeah. 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 And ask the Lord to help you understand, then get back to the words. Notice how it says that. He walked to think about that. You're looking at yourself in the mirror, and as soon as you go get in the car, you forgot what you look like? Wow. Wow. Come on. That's, That's what it is when you come and sit in here and leave and do nothing. Right. That's what it is when you sit in here and tomorrow you wake up and you just go to work and you're just at work, you're just at work, you put your hours in and then you think about your gas and you got to get your food to cook and your kids and you got to do homework. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That means you're this. <laughs> now, when you leave from here and you light somebody up at work, and listen, listen, they coming to you every day. They are coming to you every day. Yeah. So it's not like you got to be like, well, that's not me because no one, no one comes for me to talk to. Deceived. Right. They are coming to you every single day. Yeah. That is your opportunity not to try to tell them what I just told you. Right. To right. tell them your testimony. Yeah. Tell them your testimony. What has God done for you? You don't know what your testimony is. That doesn't mean you replay all the sin of your life up until you met Jesus, and then you say, and now I'm saved. That's not your testimony. Your testimony is you tell them what God has delivered you from. Without God, I wouldn't have this job. Without God, I wouldn't have what I have. Without God, I wouldn't be here. I said, you know, you got a beautiful family. He said, yeah. He said, that's what you saved. He said, you saved my family. He said, God is with you. God is in you. He said, I don't go to church. God is with you. God is in you. You saved my family. He said, I will love you forever because you helped save my family. He said, God used you to touch me. Church. When I see him, I'm not banging him 
Luke, you need to come to church, you need to come to church. I do mention it, but I'm bringing church to him. Those are coming from the counter of God. He said, I was at a time where I was going to lose everything. And you came in my office. And God used you to save everything I have. He's not here. But that's what we should be receiving texts and messages like that all the time. Because God, I carry him wherever I go. They know God. I'm going to let them know God. I'm going to let them know God. Jesus. 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 God. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, welcome to the We got some more for you. Jesus, the Christ, Christ Jesus, or Jesus Christ. So we got to make that adjustment. You cannot get the Holy Spirit without Jesus. You cannot come to God without Jesus. Uh, it was magnificent uh, the way that the Spirit uses my son and my daughter, but I could have my first son to come up. Yeah. Who's right. 40 years old, yeah. right. and he will run it down, yeah. right. just like I've run it down to him for 40 years. Amen. He's marching in his house. I think he's 17 years married now. Amen. And I, I was I was telling about the uh, I was saying my grandson has this, this snap on tie, and you heard my son on Thursday, the older son on yeah. Thursday, shout out. Yeah. We're not talking about it. Those grandsons, you're talking about the newest grandson. But he wanted us, he, but he said, but some don't know. I said, okay, I mean, uh, Clemson, you're, you're out of control. <laughs> just it, just it. We're not talking about them boys. Your sons that we already see. But anyway, so we need to get that straight. I can call him up and he can run it down the way that I ran it. And he can do it. Matthew 7, I, uh, Gabriel, uh, as he started in, in uh, talking about Ride the Wave, which I wrote that song when I was, when the Lord had moved us um, to a, I was on a piece of property, um, 100, that was 190 acres, died. And uh, looking at it, and it had, I think, uh, nine or ten houses on it, but it was all little teeny houses. And I was like, you know, which, which house is me and Cookie going to be in? And then I thought, this ain't going to even work. I said, I'm going to have to take one house and I have to put Cookie over another house. And then I said, that ain't going to work. And I kept on thinking about it. But anyway, while I was sitting on the property, I wrote the song. Ride the wave, and I used the beat of my 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 friend or best friend in the ministry. Uh, I told you Matthew seven, right? Yes. So I, I've got to I've got to give you scripture for sand and water, Amen. Right. Right. so you can understand the prophetic realm is constantly coming 
Yes. Um, not just when Gabriel gets up, but it, it starts as soon as the service starts. Yes. Amen. Yes. And it's, it, is, it has always been like that. Uh, we are at a higher level, higher yes. degree, yes. but not not uh, as far as the the, uh, the saying and adjusting. I have never stopped. That's right. Right. Let's get that story straight. That's right. What's happened is is that my my sons have rose up, Amen. Amen. Yes. and Gabriel Amen. is the, is the one the catalyst yes. uh, that has rose up. And Amen. become a man, right. Yeah. Right. and uh, and yeah. he's taking his place. But he always had his place, and he always he told me when he was eight years old. When I said I need help, he said that I I'll help you. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. And I, he said right. I'll do it. Right. Amen. And I said, yeah, I know, I know you, I know you want to do it, but you, you know, you, you get you too young right now. I'm just telling you the way it was. Right. Yeah. But he did tell me I'll I'll do it, Dad. And then. Uh, so he has proved and demonstrated how you stand with with your father yeah. Yeah. and how you stand yeah. with the man of God. Yeah. He has demonstrated. And so has so has Jim Jeff. I want to say to Daryl, I am happy that you are here yeah. and that you are my brother. Yeah. And that I love you dearly. Yeah. I mean, I love you dearly. You want you want to closest to my heart. Not to say all the stuff that we know. You came to me. You was hurting, and God helped you. Right. Yes. You had ran to another tank even then, many years ago, and you told me I can't, I can't, I can't make it over here. <laughs> and, and you came back. Yeah. And so yeah. now, if you stay here, and God will continue to do what He did before, He will do again. I know that you're hurting. I know that you lost your wife your best. Right. Yes. Um, what was his wife's name? Heather. 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 Yeah. Mother, Forgive me. Yeah. And, and your mother. Yeah. But but oh man, is, those are great soldiers. Yeah. But they still here. The yeah. spirit is here. Yeah. 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 I don't forget. I don't forget what people do. Right. I don't forget that Daryl came. Yeah. He's a he's a contract. He lays foundations, right. and he right. came with his daddy. Because right. yeah. I said I want to put a slab on the side of my house, yeah. and I wanted because if I had the old man, that, 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 that my old man is my '55 my panel truck, oh, yeah. a Chevy right. oh, 1955 yeah. panel truck. Right. And I said I don't like him being in the dirt. Right. Yeah. I said I need to have concrete right. there. Yeah. And I know that Daryl's a concrete man. I said, Daryl, and he said, yeah, we can do it. Amen. And he came over and he brought his dad came. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, broke up the ground and did what he does. And so I don't know, I don't forget those things. Yeah. I, don't, I don't forget, I don't forget. I just yeah. don't forget. Right. And so I do, yeah. uh, I, he's, he's my brother. And I love him dearly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go to hell yeah. and come back with him. Yeah. Yeah. And I know he will do the same. Yeah. I know his children, we love his family. I know that God has not given up on the boys. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. All the way down. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. Amen. Yes. The Lord is good. Yes. He's better than good. Yes. Yes. The temptation sees the Lord is good. You heard what, what uh, Kim said, and uh, that's Ray, Ray and Kim. And uh, now, you know, you, you see that the Lord is, the fire is, is, yeah. is burning. I had to, it's yeah. Teresa. Yes. I had Teresa in my spirit. Yes. Uh, it, this morning, I had her in my spirit. I had forgot that the love feast was yesterday. Wow. Because I'm on my course. Right. 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 Yeah. right. But I did have that woman in my spirit. Amen. And, um, you know, it's, it's not, it's, God will do the same thing for any person. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Do the same thing for yeah. any person. Yeah. Jeff, you heard his testimony, you know, the 21 years now. Um, he's been with me 11 years, but he, he's yeah. been working, and he's been on the work 20. That, that, that he's, those things are sad for many different reasons. Right. But, but Joseph, it's sad for you. 
because your your life is is restarting yes. right now. Yes. If you if you learn and if you see a man has to humble himself. Yes. He has to humble himself. Yes. A woman has to uh, learn how to forgive. Yes. Those are the two. Those are, you know we don't all say kind of little stuff. Right. But we we deal with the major things. Right. That's right. You know, not the not the minors, the major things right. that God is after. Right. The um, but anyway, so I wanted to just clarify a few things. Um, I've always corrected in this house yeah. because I've always corrected in my house, so right. my natural house. Right. Now, I built this house. Right. Right. Now, Gabriel's talked about the, the you when you go out, you're the church. Just remember, you're a branch. Right. That's what Jesus said, John 15, you're a branch. Right. You're only an extension of the house, yeah. the right. church. Yeah. Yeah. You go out there and you don't go to church, you're still a branch, but Jesus said, you're a dry branch. Right. And they're, and they're waiting to scoop you up with the other dry branches to be burned. So you'll be fired for someone. No, we want the fire of the Holy Ghost. What you see happening in different places here in this house. I, I have it happening in my house. Right. I have it happening in this house, yes. in my physical body, yes, and it's it's. Uh, you guys can't even put words on the on the uh, magnificence of God, yes. right. the greatness of God. Yes. God, God, he he only needs one. He says, his eyes go to and fro looking for a man yes. right. that he may show himself strong. Yes. That's the way God does it. He yes. has never changed. That's, right. That's the way he does it. He looks for a man yes. that he can show himself strong in. And then he'll use that man like that man. And, and he'll be a flame and a torch for God. Yes. And then people will draw them, be drawn to it. Right. Right. And that's it'll be the same way with you. Right. Now here, let me look here in uh, in Matthew 7. Jesus talking about the foundation. I, I just had it hit Daryl for a minute Man. about yeah. the foundation because he's dealing with it right here. Yeah. And it's, it's two foundations. He says in verse 24, Matthew 7, verse 24, Therefore, every, this is Jesus speaking, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts upon them, and acts upon them. You heard what happened when you hear the word and do not act. You are deluded immediately, self-deluded. That's like <clears throat> that's like being in in uh, in Alaska at 140 degrees below zero. <laughs> And you light it and the fire is lit and so you're being warm and then all of a sudden you take water and, and a big five gallon bucket of water, you're in a hundred, remember what I said now, you're in a hundred and forty degree below zero. <laughs> we don't know what that is. It's, it's freezing. You, you, it won't be long. Uh, if right. you don't have the proper equipment, uh, yeah, it right. won't be long. You won't have to uh, worry no more. Yeah. <laughs> right. stiff. You'll be right. stiff as this right here. Right. And, and, you, and you'll be uh, hyperthermia, they call it. You'll be frozen. You'll be dead. Right. If that fire, if you don't keep that fire lit and put some wood on that fire. Right. 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 Here, so here you are out in this 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 freezing cold, and then you're taking a bucket, uh, not, not a little bucket, five gallons right. bucket and pouring it on the fire. Right. That's what you're doing when you don't act on God's word. Right. 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 It won't be long, and then you'll be zombied up tough. <laughs> and you gotta understand, I'm not, that try, I'm not trying to keep you from zombie land, which is the world. Right. You just need to understand when you go out there, you got to be equipped. Right. 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 you got to be armed. Right. 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 
You can't be we, what is your shield up and and I don't want I'm afraid you already listen. You already waiting to be devoured. I go out of here, I'm not all afraid and no. No matter where I go. I'm not afraid of what's gonna to happen to me when I go out. Listen, I've been out there long before when I came to Christ. I know what's out there. I'm ready. Amen. I'm not afraid of the demons. They're afraid of me. Right. They know who I serve. I'm ready to smash them. Those that are with me are learning. That's our job. Destroy, destroy the works of the devil everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And then listen, it's not like you have to go try to pick people off. The Lord brings them. Right. 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 They yeah. write there, he just brings them every day. Yeah. Yes. Okay, he says, everyone that hears the, these, these words of mine and acts upon them may be compared to a wise man yeah. Yeah. who built his house upon a rock. Oh, yeah. That's right. A wise master builder uh -huh. yeah. hears Jesus' words and acts upon them. Right. 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 Now, also, I want you to notice this, this verse 25. This is the key. Right. He said, The rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew. blew. Yeah. That sounds like Matthew. Yeah. Right. Right. Did, are you guys here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't know about Matthew? Right. It, you don't know about Matthew? Right. The hurricane? Right. You heard Gabriel talk about it? You don't know what's going on? That's what's, right. that's what's going on with the, with the people in the church. Right. You're so much like a chicken pecking right. around in, 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 right. for, in the dirt, right. yeah. you don't even know what's happening. Right. And right. Matthew just comes and takes you away. Right. 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 Or over here, since we're over in California, it's not Matthew, it's the ground opens up and takes you away. That's called an earthquake. Now, that's not coming here. Oh, no, you didn't hear it, you didn't see it. It's not coming here. Not, not here. It ain't coming here. Because of Jesus showed himself. He showed himself to an apostle here. And what are you going to do to the city of Everybody's not going to come here. But you may be going somewhere else. Where's it going? Oh, I, seen, I, seen the, I seen Eddie. And when I see Eddie back there in the Congo, I see him jumping. I said, all I can see is glory. I said, because look, these, these miracles are happening in our face. I said, look, that's glorious. Lori came, got her life saved. Yeah. Her husband, the crazy fool, right. was trying to kill her, was going to murder her. Right. He got stopped. Right. He's dead and gone on, probably to hell. Right. And then and the Glory got saved gloriously. Yeah. And then he, now here's Eddie. Yeah. He's been here, I think Eddie's been here 10 right. years, right. 11 years. Right. Same, same, same as Jeff. Right. Yeah. And now, and, the, and I see this. What happens is the fire god it hits the other members of the family. Right. Yeah. You just stay faithful. Yeah. That's the problem. You don't stay faithful for God's kingdom. The kingdom is moving the family. You stay faithful, and God will move through the whole family. That's guaranteed, right? That's guaranteed. You move through the whole, the whole back row up there. The whole back from you back there all the way to all your whole family. And your, your cousin, and your relative, and then the whole church you feel. You feel that? who he is, he can't be stopped. That's right. Yeah. It says the rains descended, yeah. the floods came, right. and the winds blew. Because why? Why? Because you've been doing, you did something bad? No, that's, that's what it is on earth. Yeah. Right. It's, it's because of sin, the sin of Adam and Eve. Right. Right. It said, and it burst, but I don't like the New American Standard. King, the King James says it beat. Yeah, right. I like that a lot better, so I'm gonna put beat in there for the bust. Yeah. Or burst. No, it mine is burst. The new American, no, he's made blue American standing It's beat. Right. It's beat. Right. I like that better. Yeah. And beat against that house. Right. The rains, the floods, and the winds. Beat. 
against that house. It said, and yet it did not fall. It did not fall. This is what happened with you when you stayed in the house of God. came here. I said, I want to stay here. I cried out to God. He said, you get to go to the service. He said, I want to play basketball. Anyway, I don't want to give him too much of my testimony. I said, let me get back over here. If I can hit that testimony hard. I'm all, I'm, I was at the, at the putting, putting a panel with Mama Francis' son, uh, sending him off to be with his daddy on the other side, crossed over to the other side. And I put my testimony in there. Yeah. Not, not all of it, just a little bit, just a little bit. Right. Yeah. We, we saw it, I just put a little bit. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta learn yeah. how to do that. Teresa, you did a great job when you came up. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. Kim did a good job. Yeah. Kim won the ball the way back to Spirit said, no, no, no. Not that's no, that's too much. Don't do that. Just get to get the lips and give a little, and the, the spirit said, No, no, no. Go for it. And it's just okay. Nobody said nothing the Holy Spirit said. You got to learn how things go. Okay, back over here to the Word. Said it, that that house could not fall those that were acting on God's Word, Jesus yeah. said. Yeah. Right. Acting on, on, Jesus said, acting on my words. Right. Verse 26. Yeah. And everyone who hears these words of mine, all the things that's already said in this church today, yeah. all the things that went on Ustream today, which is around the world, yeah. right. The, on Facebook, right. all around the world, everybody right. that's on Facebook yeah. got sprayed today. Yeah. Our TV, we still are not on TV in Oceanside because we have no one that will will take the time right. to, 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 to do it, to put a song. But I'm, I'm, that's fine. That's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm patient. Amen. I'm patient. I know, I know we got to have it. We got to be on the ocean side. So they can turn on the TV because there's people that still, just because you on your phone and, and while you're driving and you 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 a zombie and you walking like this, even on a walk, you walking with your dog and you got you on your phone like this, they go clean you up. You'll get cleaned up. You better learn how to control your phone yeah. and don't let your phone control yeah. you. Yeah. If you don't, you'll be one of the casualties because they said it was 20,000 people that have died already since the first of the year. Yeah. A dumb zombie. 
right. that's, that's stuck into in the technology and don't want to listen. All right. Everybody's being told. Yeah. 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 But you want to you you know you think you know better. You right. think you can do better. Right. And your time is right around the corner. Right. Yeah. We said anyway. <laughs> let me get back over here because I said we standing right here after church. Right. Watch them get cleaned up right, right. here. Right. You people better stop parking right here on the coast highway. You women. Right. Yeah. Parking right here right. on the coast highway right. because it's easier. You better stop doing that. Because right. right. they're coming down there and they paying if they ain't paying attention. Right. 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 And we just had some dreams just right recently yeah. about some car accidents. Yeah. Right. And God, God, I'm warning you now. Right. Right. So you not be one of the casualties. Right. And maybe then we may have to send you off. And don't say the devil did it because he didn't. You didn't heed the word. You didn't listen. So don't don't park there on the cold side. I mean, on, right there. Right. Those people are driving, they're not, they're not paying attention. Right. And they're slow breathers, right. too, passing right. there. There's everybody, there's drug people, there's people that's not paying attention. Right. There's all kinds of stuff going on right there on the coast highway. Right. Just be smart. Yes. Yes. There's a place right here that's yes. free parking. Right. Right. They'll park all of us there. Yes. Right. You can't all park in my spot. Right. <laughs> don't, don't try to put your answer in my spot right there. You, you see that mean machine out there? Don't park right there. That's right. That's right. Let the bishop have his spot. Yeah. Okay, let's get back over here now. I'm almost done. I won't keep you long. Verse 26, and everyone who hears these words of mine and does not right. act upon them. We'll be like a foolish man. Right. Same word for stupid. Right. And my wife gets mad at me because I use it, but then I had to show the church right. that the, the word stupid is in the Bible. Right. There it is right there. Right. But there's many other places in the Bible where it says, right. not foolish, it no. says stupid. stupid. Right. 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 Matter of fact, there's one place that I showed and it, it says it like five or six times. Just repeatedly, rapid fire. Stupid, 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 stupid. And I know there's a lot of stupid people. It seems to me that I could be off on this. But I know it seems to me that there are more stupid people now than there were before back in when I was. Cause see, see when I was growing up, you, you, we all had the ADD and all the stuff that they say. And now the only thing they beat that out of you. See, we all had stupid, but you had mother and father, and they beat that out of you. If daddy was born in the black family, Big Mama would beat that out of you. Or the big, the older brother or the older uh, sister, she would beat that out of you. Nowadays, you got all this foolishness where the government is trying to come into the family. And that's only because the church has not done its job. We don't need the government in our family. The, the government is a sword. They cannot come in our family. That's right. And the, the separation between, listen, you better get it. The separation between church and state was to keep the state out of the church, not to keep the church out of the state. That's why we all forced out of control, because they took the church out of the state. The church got to have, I mean, the state has to have the church. Right. So there, there are people that are being raised up. And then there are others that God says, you didn't finish your job, even though you're dead, to you get up and go back down there and finish what I called you to do because nobody can do what I called you to do. And so you're dead, he raised you back up there, you died, then you're still sitting there because God said, you part of, you got a job and you belong with me. And you can feel it right now, and Ray is the same. Daryl, Ray, it's the same. Listen, we don't break that foolishness about blacks and Mexicans. That's just a foolishness that we 